if a thousand dollar seed is something you want to sow in the next 90 days, you want to sow it, then call and say, I want to sow the hundred dollars, the first hundred, and I'm going to believe God to provide the rest of the thousand in the next 90 days. If all you have is $25 toward the thousand, call and say, I'm going to sow my first $25 toward the thousand. There's a man watching me right now that feels a stirring about your business and you feel a stirring to sow the thousand dollar seed out of your business. I'd like for you to document in the back of your Bible what happens in the next 90 days. How when God gets involved with your business, I'd like for you to write down today's date, today's date when you sowed your thousand dollar seed, count off 90 days and put it in the back of your Bible and start documenting God's reactions to your thousand dollar seed because when God becomes your partner, you cannot fail. When God becomes your partner, when his voice becomes important to you, it's impossible for you to fail. Go to the phone. I want you to dial the number that's on the screen. Quickly do it. There are 300 that God's talking to right now. Now I'm hoping that Dr. Cirillo will replay this in the next few days and there will be another a whole another layer of faith being used but i feel so strong about this first 300 when you call ask for my book that i'm teaching from called 31 reasons people do not receive their financial harvest it is an encyclopedia of answers will radically train change and affect your life i want those that are right here in the studio would you hold your wallet in your hand hold your checkbook in your hand everybody if you don't have a wallet draw a picture of one and say Lord this is my next miracle I don't even have a wallet I don't even have a place for the blessing I want you to hold that in your hand nobody can use your faith for you you have to use your faith I feel so stirred about this business there's a person whose business needs a miracle and I believe this thousand dollar seed if you this thousand dollar seed out of your business this thousand dollars wouldn't do anything for your business so why leave it there put it in God's hands Anything God holds multiplies. Anything God touches multiplies. I just feel an incredible stirring that you're going to have a testimony unlike any testimony you've ever had in the history of your life. I felt a stirring about the thousand dollar seed. There's also someone who's called in earlier this week at a different and a lower level than the thousand dollar seed. But your faith is at work. And you say, I feel stirred. I was willing to sow at another level, but God's moving my faith up. The size of your seed controls the size of your harvest. And before Brother David Cirillo comes up here, he's got a special song and music. There's a choir, singers fixing to minister to you. I want you there to stretch forth your hand toward me. Just stretch forth your hand. Just say it out loud. In the name of Jesus, I choose to believe. I choose to believe in a harvest. I choose to believe in a future. I choose to believe in miracles. I willingly and joyfully obey the voice of the Holy Spirit. Lord, everything I have came from you. Oh, say it out loud. Lord, everything I have came from you. I don't have anything you did not give me. I become one of the 300 who will sow in the next 90 days a special seed of my faith. And I expect uncommon peace. I expect a strife-free home in the name of Jesus. Lord, bring into my life a financial mentor who shares the secrets, who imparts to me divine favor in Jesus name and I expect this seed of obedience to open the windows of heaven and reactivate every dormant seed I have ever planted that has not yet come up in Jesus name seven times seven times seven times I will see the harvest to everything Satan has stolen from me it is done.
Oh, hallelujah. It is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. Praise God. Praise God. When I get involved with God's dream, He gets involved with my dream. Don't let this hour close with your hands closed. Don't do it. Quickly go to the phone. Dial the number that's on the screen and just tell, say, I'm one of the 300. I would add in there future millionaires Mike Murdoch's talking about. I've asked the Lord. In fact, I'm going to ask you as soon as you possibly can to put your business card in an envelope and send it to the prayer team here at this great television ministry and say, include me in your prayers this week. Send your business card. Send your business card and say, I'm one of the 300 that Mike Murdoch talked about who will sow a thousand dollar seed as God provides. Mike, what if I step out in faith and I never see the thousand dollar seed in 90 days? Then you're released from it. You're released from it. But I want to remind you, if you can't use your faith for a thousand, how will you ever be debt free? How will you ever be anything for God? If you can't even call in seed, how could you call it a harvest? Give God an opportunity to step into your life. If you said, Mike, if God would give it to me, a lady told me this other than in San Jose, California. She came to me and she said, I'd give a thousand if I have it, but I don't have it. I said, would you give it if you had it? She said, yes. She said, I don't have it. I said, Donna, there's only one reason you don't have a thousand. God didn't know you was going to give it because he said, I'll give seed to a sower. So the fact that you don't have a thousand, God didn't know you was going to be a sower. Now you're saying, God, if you'll give me a thousand, I'll sow it. I took her hands and I said, Jesus, Donna just told me that if you gave her a thousand, she'd sow it. So swiftly do it in Jesus' name. When I got through praying for her, I looked at her and I said, now, she's a partner in ministry. I said, now, I want to tell you something. I didn't ask the Lord to give you a thousand dollar harvest because a thousand dollars is no kind of harvest. How many need a whole lot more than a thousand dollars? You need a whole lot more than so a thousand. I said, I asked God to give you a thousand dollar seed to sow. So when this happens, don't think that God gave you a thousand dollar harvest. He was just giving you some seed to create your harvest. 24 hours later on my voicemail, there's a scream. It works. It works. Somebody had walked up to her on the streets of San Jose, shoved something in her hand, and took off running, and she opens her hand. It's 10 $100 bills less than 24 hours later. God said, I will give seed to a sower. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, Mike, I don't know anybody who could give me a 1000 You don't have to know them. That's what makes it a miracle. Dr. Miles Monroe and I have uh, Miles Monroe and I have flown many miles together. We've preached a lot together. He's a precious friend from the Bahamas, has the Diplomat Center. One day he and I were in England. We were flying from England to Ghana together. And a man walks in the, the London airport there, he walks in, and, and Miles Monroe says, You know who that is? I said, No. He said, That's the, one of the top three soccer players in the world. I said, Oh, I don't follow soccer, so I didn't know. Man comes over there and hugs Miles, and Miles turns to me and says, I want you to meet Mike Murdoch. And the guy turns to me and said, Oh, I know you. I've got all your books. And said, If suddenly I'll be right back. And he goes back inside, comes back with a huge bag of English money. Stuff, this bag stuffed full of money. And a pound is like a dollar and fifty cents in American money. So if you have 10 pounds, it's like $15 in American money. And he starts taking out these big stacks of money and handing them to me. And he says, I can't be around you and not sow seed. So I'm putting all this. People already got on the plane. Me and Miles are sitting there. We're the last ones. And I'm putting all these stacks of money in all my pockets. I mean, I thought they're going to think I'm a drug dealer, just as sure as the world. I, I walk, And I'm walking on the plane. I got all this money stacked in every pocket, stuffed everywhere. And the Holy Spirit whispers to me, I can get money to you anywhere you are. Hallelujah. I can get money to you anywhere you are. I can get money to you anywhere you are. Hallelujah. Stretch forth your hand. Brother David Cirillo, would you come? And I know that there has an incredible song. We've got 13 minutes left. Quickly, quickly, go to the phone. Quickly, go to the phone. Dial the number that's on the screen. Delayed obedience is disobedience. Never negotiate with a giver. Only a fool 
would negotiate with a giver and the Holy Spirit is a giver. Stretch forth your hand toward me. In the name of Jesus, I come into a covenant for the three most incredible months of your lifetime. I come into a covenant that this thousand dollar seed becomes the beginning of the greatest step of faith you've ever had in your life. I decree three months of uncommon miracles in your life.